what up? How's it going? Uh, it's Attack on Titan time. Um, the show just started airing again, the last season. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I know I'm dating myself on this, forgive me, but I'm going to go over how to draw Aaron from the kind of the side view there at, in the Titan form, Aaron Yeager. Um, and that's it. Okay. Um, we're going to go through it, like I said, mostly like a headshot, a little bit of the upper body, mostly the head though. Um, all right. Let's get started. Also, don't forget, hit the subscribe if you like learning how to draw anything monstrous, anything kind of spooky, and uh, that's kind of what I go over on the channel uh, through the year up until Halloween, and then, you know, it's Halloween stuff and then Christmas, so hit that subscribe, click the bell notification, let's jump in. All right, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw Aaron's nose, and the nose is pretty spiky. I mean, I can't tell if it's, I mean, obviously it's his type of, type of nose, but it's also because he's, uh, you know, it's anime, right? Fly over here. Uh, kind of the top of the nose right there, the bridge of the nose. Down over here, he's gonna have that angry look. Pulling up here into the eyebrow area, pulling up. Line over here. And underneath the eye right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over here, go to the other the other angry brow area. over here line over here it's gonna be the teeth right there and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw kind of the, the lining of the teeth a little bit and it's gonna go up here into the cheekbone area pull back and then right here, you're going to draw a little bit right here coming out from the eye, a little bit right here, like a fold in the face there. It's mostly going to be like his cheekbone area. I'm going to draw his hair. He's got uh, kind of Legolas hair or like Link hair. <sighs> going to pull up here a little bit, and it's going to go right here into the other tooth cylinder. Right now, I want to draw the bottom of the teeth over here on this side. Actually, hold on. I think that's the bottom of the teeth. Yeah, I, I mixed that up. So right here, that's the bottom of the teeth. And I'm going to go over here. Down over here on this side. Up. In. So I'm going to have that indention over there. Got that other teeth area over here. Pulling down, he's gonna have his mouth open. I'm gonna change markers over. Let's see, because the other marker's kind of dry. Line over here, line down here, line down here for the tongue there. And we're gonna find the bottom line here. Uh, there's going to be again the, the teeth are separated like in two chunks this is going to fly back a little bit I'm going to fly in pulling back here down and the chin over here on this side down over here pull back line over here line over here yeah underneath the neck here Let's complete the hair first. So I want to go over here, pull back. That's his hair. The hair is going to be kind of pulling down. Like I said, that link hair. Over here on this side, we got that link hair on the other side, like these uh, bangs coming down.
down over here, Adam's apple, down under the neck, line in here, line in here, line in here. This is the sternocleidomastoid. I've talked about it uh, before. And let's do the back of the hair over here. It's going to go back, down. Uh, I forgot about his pointed ear. He has a pointed ear sticking out. Bam, over here, like that elf ear, like I said, kind of like Link. Like out here, uh, over here, in here, in here, and then gonna be kind of around this side, down here with the back of the neck. Let's go over here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in um, kind of the back side of the mouth over here. I feel like all my markers are really dry. I'm sorry about that. By the way, hit the like button if you want me to draw more stuff like this uh, on the channel. I will. You just got to hit that like because what the like does, it helps out with the algorithm and it's almost like giving back um, yeah, to the channel. And over here, let's go underneath. Right on. Over here, the hair coming over here back from the far side over here. Gosh, let me change marker again. I, there's so many. I have like 12 of these markers right here. I buy them in a pack, and it's funny how they just, they don't run out super fast, but uh, I mean, they don't. They last a long time. I think I'm just about, it's about time to change them up. And what I'm doing here is I'm throwing strands in the hair right here. Same thing here. And you want to think about what direction it's growing out of, right? So that's the biggest help as, as far as hair goes. Health goes. Wow. Giving you health advice on a drawing channel? I don't think so. <coughs> Down over here. <coughs> Line over here. And maybe throw a little shadow underneath, just a bit. Not all the way to the edge, but just a little bit here. here um, and what it is now is I'm just kind of going in here uh, and I'm putting in little nicks and scratches here just to kind of uh, you know flesh out the detail and stuff like that um, that kind of brings uh, more realisticness to your drawing. Uh, and that's kind of right. the point of this whole thing is to bring a little bit, not realisticness, because this is obviously a stylized drawing, right? This is anime. Um, but you want to bring more, I don't know what it is, just detail, I guess. I'm not sure what a better word for uh, detail is. But, but it basically makes it more convincing, right? Like your world is more fleshed out. And again, you're throwing these little nicks, and they're in places that, you know, are innocuous like that, right? Line over here, line over here. There's thinner lines because thinner lines equal detail, usually. Um, and I could maybe bold the line here on the eye because the eye should be a big focal point. You want to be able to kind of the first place the viewer is going to look is probably within. It's almost always in the face, right? That's almost always where the viewer is going to look. They're going to be like, oh wow, that's a that's a scary dude. He's uh, angry what is going on here right well not really because we know who Aaron is and Aaron's a hero I think he's a hero right he's turning into like an anti-hero now um, I don't know what what's going on let me know if you're watching Attack on Titan uh, hit me up uh, you know maybe we can talk about it in the comments here but just absolutely uh, let me know if you're excited for the new season or uh, just kind of let me know what you think of the show okay it's one of my favorite animes ever thank you so much I will see you in the very next video <laughs> see you tomorrow okay Stick around. Come over. So if you're looking to upgrade your art skill overall, I highly, highly recommend you check out my Skillshare. It's also completely for beginners. The biggest difference is these are hour-long courses 
on drawing, like I said. So if you're starting out, this is perfect for you as well. It's just that I take longer on each particular topic to really ingrain it in you. And this is how people fully level up their art skill uh, if you're serious about it. Um, so like I said, I have things here on the basics of drawing. I have the, the anatomy. I go over uh, anime as well. I go over cartoons as well here. I go over drawing basics. Uh, also fantasy art topics like dragons and things of that sort. There's a dragon drawing video here. Um, this is like pretty much the mecca for stuff like this. What you should do as well. Normally this stuff is like $40, right? The, the whole website. But go to the link in the description of the YouTube video you're watching right now. Go down, check out the link with the hearts on it. Uh, right below that, click that link for Skillshare. And that will give you at least the first, uh, I think the first 100, 100 people, it's going to give you a free month of Skillshare. So basically you can see everything on this thing completely for free for a month um, without paying anything. So that's what's cool about it. So like I said, this is only for the, you know, people that are very, very, you know, they really want to do this and they really want to put a lot of time into this. Go check this out. Thank you so much. And good. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you soon.